Well, soybean farmers in northeast Louisiana have noticed some mysterious changes in the foliage of some of their soybeans. That's peculiar because this year's soybean crop in that area has been fantastic, according to experts. As A.J. Sabine shows us, the cure for black root rot may be just as mysterious as the disease. Chest deep in lush soybeans, LSU crop scientist Trey Price digs up a mystery. Typically, if you dig this up, you'll find soybean debris from the previous year that appears to have been colonized by that fungus. That sure fungus is, is known as black root rot, which is a disease that... Uh, we suspect it's caused by Thalaviopsis basicola, uh, which has been described as a disease of cotton in the past. Uh, we, uh, we're, we're still working to confirm that, uh, uh, trying to get our correct identity and confirm pathogenicity for Thalaviopsis basicola. Typically, black root rot looks like this from the turn row. Price explains that it can easily be mistaken for other diseases. The symptoms of the disease don't occur until R5 or R6 of the growth cycle. Price has a few tips for farmers to identify black root rot in their own fields. Here's one showing good symptoms, or dig it up, ideally. Again, you'll see the blackening on the root. If you take your knife, and split this stem. Generally around the crown of the plant, you'll see a white growth here. Mm -hmm. That's mycelial growth. I can, I can transfer that to a selective medium and what appears to be Thalaviopsis basicola will grow out. More than 50 farmers have called the LSU Ag Center to inquire about black root rot as it affects their soybeans. However, Price says that that has not been the major player in terms of disease this year. He says frog-eyed leaf spot has been found here in the Northeast and in some susceptible varieties, he says it's the worst case of frog-eyed leaf spot he has ever seen. Still, Yield impacts based on the effect of black root rot have yet to be determined. While Price has seen the fungal disease expand more this year than ever before, he predicts a minimal yield impact. I'd say overall we're less than 1% right now in the state. Some areas that have been affected, some fields that have been affected in, you know, in situations where there's a minimum till operation going on or a no-till operation going on where you have beans for several years right in a row, that's, our, that's been the worst fields that we've seen. And I would suspect that those fields are probably 5% or less, uh, depending on the situation. Ultimately, crop scientists like Price Example, anticipate a seed a treatment that could eventually control right. black root rot. In a published report, Price explained that scientists have yet to determine whether or not rotations with corn will halt the spread of black root rot. Even though the fungal disease is relatively minor, Mike and Kristen, farmers as well as crop scientists will just have to wait and see how the data pans out. And it's been a tough year for soybean growers so far with all the rain we talked about earlier in the program. Uh, let's hope they can get a handle on this disease without too many machinations.